Hello my students, how are you today? I'm your English teacher, teacher Razan Al-Aqra. Today, inshallah, we will continue with our unit, unit number 8, lesson number 6, writing in your workbook, page 88 and 89. Our outcome for today, students should be able to write a research report and to use headings and subheadings. Now, open your workbook, page 88 and 89. Lesson number 6, writing, prepare to write. Let's start with the first activity. Activity number one, match the sentences to the features of a report. So here we have five sentences. We are going to read them and match them, match them to the correct feature. So here we have the features. Subheading, fact, quote, heading, reference to, us, to support a fact. So let's see the first example. E-readers. So this is the heading. هذا هو العنوان الرئيسي. Now let's see the rest of the sentences. I will give you two minutes. Try to do it by yourself. Good job, girls. Now let's do it together. Number two. When did they become popular? So this is a excellent girls. A subheading. One for Number three. In 2012, global sales of the e-reader fell by 26%. Excellent girls, this is a fact. حقيقة. Number four, a report found that people were reading e-books on laptops. Good job, girls. This is a reference to support a fact. إذن هذا مرجع لدعم الحقيقة. Number five, in the future, more people will buy e-books than books. So as you can see here, we have quotation marks. Alamat اقتباس. So this is a quote. اقتباس. Good job, girls. Now let's move to the next activity. Activity number two, read the notes about mobile phones. Number the paragraphs in the correct order. So here we have notes, ملاحظات about mobile phones and الهاتف النقال. Number the paragraphs, رقمي الفقرات in the correct order في الترتيب الصحيح. So I will give you two minutes. Try to do it by yourself. Good job, girls. Now let's do it together. So here we have the heading, the history of mobile phones. And the first paragraph, here we have it, number one. Introduction, المقدمة. Today, we all use mobile phones. Easy to communicate with family and friends. Mobile phones have been around since 1983. Fascinating history. And here we have number two, paragraph number two. 1983, first mobile phone for general use released by Motorola. Large and expensive, around 2,700 pound, not many sold, people amazed, stopped to look when so phone owners making calls. And here we have the third paragraph, paragraph number three. 1992, cheaper and lighter phones available, around 1,000 pound. 1992, first text message sent, 2000, first camera phone sold, and 2007, iPhone released by Apple, looked good, easy to use, played music. And the last paragraph, here we have it, number 4, mobiles now, smartphones, music, camera, upload files, send text, a university survey, says, we spend 33% of our time on our phones. Nick Sandra Sanderson called them cyberspace in your pocket. Have changed the way we live. Leaving home without phone is like... So this is the last paragraph. And this is a, the last par paragraph that talks about mobile phones in these days. Now let's move to activity number three. Look at the features in activity number one again. Write an example from the notes above for each feature. 
So as you can see here we have the features of writing a report. خصائص كتابة المقالة أو التقرير. Subheading, fact, quote, heading and reference to support a fact. In this activity, he asked us to write an example from the notes for each feature. إذن علينا كتابة مثال واحد من هذه الملاحظات على كل خاصية. For example, the heading, a subheading, a fact, a reference and a quote. I will give you five minutes. Try to do it by yourself. Good job, girls. Now let's do it together. Number one, the heading. The heading is the history of mobile phones. العنوان الرئيسي هو تاريخ الهاتف المحمول. Number two, a subheading. عنوان فرعي. Introduction. This is the subheading. Number three, a fact. يريد منا مثال على حقيقة علمية. And here we have an example. 1992 first text message sent. إذا في هذا التاريخ أو في هذا العام أول رسالة نصية أرسلت. Number four, a reference. يريد مرجع لهذه الحقيقة العلمية. The fact. So a reference to support the fact. A university survey says we spent 33% of our time on our phones. So here we have a university survey. استيان أو دراسة من جامعة. Number five, a quote. يريد منا إيجاد مثال على اقتباس. So here we have an example of a quote. Cyberspace in your pocket. And look at here. We have quotation marks. علامات اقتباس. Now let's move to the next page. Page 89. Now you are ready to write. Let's see activity number four. Write a report about the history of mobile phones. So you are going to write a report. ستكتب تقرير أو مقالة عن the history of mobile phones. تاريخ الهاتف المحمول. Remember to use subheadings. تذكروا أن تستخدموا subheadings عناوين فرعية. For example, as you can see here, we have the heading, العنوان الرئيسي, the history of mobile phones. And after that, we wrote a, an introduction, مقدمة. And we get it from the notes. واستخدمناها أو حصلنا عليها من الملاحظات. From here, introduction. And after that, we put a subheading. When did it start? متى بدأت? And we get the information and the notes from the previous activity. حصلنا على المعلومات من التمرين السابق. The first mobile phone for general use released by Motorola in 1983. Now it is your turn to continue and complete the report by your own as a homework. So now you have to complete it, write another subheading and use the previous notes. So don't forget, this is your homework. Thank you, my lovely students, for listening. See you later and goodbye.